In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. But before that, I should say, anybody who, uh, any of our young people, and you can determine whether you qualify, uh, please come forward, and then we're going to sit right around here, because I'm going to need your help. Before what what makes a sound? Before the cock crows, right? 
Do you think maybe that's what Jesus, that's what Peter was embarrassed about when he saw Jesus? That, that he still remembered that he, he'd not been a very good friend, that he said, I don't know him. Um, and so they get to shore, and they're having a, and I think that charcoal fire is supposed to remind us of that. Um, so we get to shore, and what does Jesus ask Simon Peter? What does he ask Peter? He says, do you love me? Now, this is where it gets super complicated. So do you all have your magnifying glasses? And are the adults paying close attention? Yes. All right, so we have a one word for love, right? We have love. But back in the ancient times, uh, in ancient Greek, they had lots of words for love. Um, and we've talked about it um, uh, in school, uh, that we have pitter-patter love. You know, like, a, like uh, a boyfriend or girlfriend sometimes have, like your mommy and daddy sometimes have. Uh, uh, we call that arrows. Uh, that, that's that kind of love. And then we have the kind of love that we have for our brothers and sisters and for our dear friends. Um, and that's called philia love, like the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. You remember all this, right? All right. So, and then we have the most spectacular kind of love at all, a kind of love that's almost impossible for us as humans, but it's a kind of love that God has for us, the kind of love uh, that we receive when we have communion, uh, the kind of love that would do anything in the world for us, that would put, uh, that would put us ahead of them no matter what, and that's called agape. It's a God thing. So what Jesus is saying to Simon Peter, this is, are you, you guys all focused in with your magnifying glasses? Yeah. So Jesus says to Peter, Peter, do you have God me? Do you love me so much that you would do absolutely anything, even risk your life for me? And Peter says, you know I love you. I'm filial you. I love you like a brother, <coughs> huh? Not to all of us? And then Jesus says, again to him, he says, Peter, do you agape me? No. And he says, yeah, of course. I, I feel you. you. I love you like a brother, buddy. Uh, and Jesus says, feed my sheep. And then he asks him a third time. But guess what? Jesus changes. Jesus says, you know what, Peter? Do you feel you me? Do you love me like a brother? Do you love me as much as you're able to love me? As, as hard as you can? And he says, yes. I love you. I love you as much as I'm able to love you, really. He says, good, feed my sheep. Yeah. And then he tells them that it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy being a disciple of Jesus. It's not going to be easy following Jesus. And now we're right back to where we were at the very beginning of the story. Remember that stained glass window with the people with the nets? Yeah. And when Jesus called all the disciples at first? And I think now he's doing the same thing again. And this is the last time in the story. That's what he asks the disciples to do. Now that they know the whole story, now that they know how much God loves them, but they also know it's not going to be easy. What's the last thing he asks them to do? Well, Even after that, two well, words. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. And I think Jesus is asking all of us that question. You know how much I love them. You know that I would do absolutely anything for you. But you know that's not always going to be easy. But please, follow me. And you know what? We have to answer that question. We have to answer it. Are we going to follow Jesus? Are we going to follow Jesus? Yes. Feed my sheep. I think we are. I think we are. And I think Jesus always asks that again and again and again. Will you follow me? Jesus always wants us to follow and never lets go of us. But if you ever want to know what a God thing is like, when you come forward and you put your hands out and you receive that bread and wine, that's how much God loves us. And we do the best we can, but we're not. We're just like Peter. Sometimes our best is, yes, I love you like a buddy. You know? But we know whenever we put our hands forward uh, that God loves us more than that. That's pretty special, huh? Alright. Is that a good ending to the story? Yeah. I think it is. But you know what? I, I think it's an ending, but you know what I also think it is? A beginning. Absolutely. You guys say amen with me? Amen. amen. Thank you.